Hi, and welcome back to the bakery. This is Chef Paul Ashman. And you know, in a prior video, I was piping chocolate with a small paper cone. And I want to show you today how to make those paper cones for yourself. It's much less expensive to do this than it is to buy the reusable ones. All right, so if you're ready, all you need is a sheet of parchment paper and a serrated knife. Let's go. Take your piece of parchment paper, fold it exactly in half. Crush the seam pretty well, then fold it in half again so you have a quarter of the sheet in front of you. And then simply take the open end and fold it till you get a triangle and you're almost done. Fold over the excess and simply cut it off. Now it's easiest to cut it off if you'll take the knife and lay it flat on the table with the handle off of the table. This way you're not going to cut yourself. Cut that off and then you can discard the excess piece. Now you've got your triangles and all we have to do is separate them. Find the middle, put your knife in the middle, again lay it flat on the table this way you don't cut yourself and simply separate the first four cones are done. The next one you're going to have to cut and separate these last two. So just take, put your knife in the middle of those and cut those. And now you have eight parchment paper triangles that are ready to use for making chocolate cones, for decorating with chocolate, or you can actually take these and put frosting in them to pipe with. When you're taking your paper cone, you're going to hold it. I typically will hold it with the point out and fold this paper up like a little cone. Bring the other side around until all three corners meet. Once all three corners meet, you automatically have a cone. You can staple it, tape it, or simply just fold it over. And there you have a paper cone or a coronet ready to do your decorating and saving you money in the process. All right, this is Chef Paul. Thanks a bunch.